Thank you for tuning in and thank you for supporting our channel. But if you are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please encourage us by doing so and we shall continue to bring you the latest news as they come. And together we shall walk with our great leader, Mazin Namde Kano, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality. He said, The Middle Belt youth have warned Buhari and his Fulani Janjaweed that they defeated Husman Danfodio and that they will fight with their last blood. According to the leaders of the group, the TV youth, you know, a lot of Middle Belt youths are now resigning from the Nigerian security agencies in Enmas. And now they are forming a warrior group in order to face the Fulani Janjaweed headlong. The youth were responding to the latest order issued by the terrorist-in-chief, President Buhari, for the review of the 368 grazing sites across 25 states in the country. The youth organization pointed out that this particular move by the Fulani Nigerian presidency has confirmed its fears and conviction that the current Fulani Nigerian government is pursuing a war agenda to take over people's ancestral land and give them to Fulani terrorist killer headsmen and bandit, an alleged terrorist has invited into Nigeria from across West Africa and beyond and the Middle Belt military personnel have now seen that the one Nigerian project is no longer viable and this was what our leader Mazin Amdekano have been warning them all along that why should it take them so long to still stay with the Fulani Nigerian military and killing Biafrans now they have seen the plans of the Fulani Janjaweed. They said to Buhari and his cohorts that the Sokoto Jihad started this in 19th century and it failed. The Fulani could not overrun the Thief land and other middle belt. And the progress they have made is enough to enable them hold the line of defense drawn by their courageous warriors, the youth want. The TV Youth Organization wishes to tell Buhari and all those anchoring the devilish occupation agenda that not even one parcel of Benue land will be given for gracing reserve. My brothers and my sisters, as a result of this, the Fulani Janjaweed are now in trouble. You know, they, told, they warned Buhari that and his presidency that Nigerians can't be taken from granted. You know, this is the same thing our leader, Mazin Amdekano, has been telling them all along. And that is what they have been telling them. But they kept quiet. They thought it would never come close to them. And now, the Fulani have shown their true color. And the Middle Belt officers are now resigning en masse to form the warrior group to face the Fulani headlong. And they told Buhari the history of how the thief defeated 
Usman Danfodio. They said the resilience of the thief. We saw the defeat of Usman Danfodio and his jihad warriors at Ushongo Hills in 1808 must not be underestimated. You know, they now have to confess that if they had known, they would have listened to Mazin and the Kano because now they said the manner the Middle West people have survived Buhari presidency, which has been fashioned to bring harm to their doorstep, must tell him something about staying in power. They told him that no other nationality has been harangued by the Nigerian state like what has happened to the Middle Belt since 2015, yet they still hold their heads high. You know, that is what they told them. And they won't worry that they must be very careful because the thieves and the middle belt are now fully prepared to face the Fulani headlong. They said that behind the veil, Nigerians see the same military dictator who ruled with an iron fist till he was overthrown in 1984. And they said that Buhari has not changed. The smile on his face is deceitful. He's a terrorist. He's deceitful. They said that Buhari does not believe in democracy and the right of the people to freedom of speech and property. In his sight, the right of a cow take preeminence over that of humans. That's who we now have as president. You know, the thief said, including themselves, they made a costly mistake in 2015. They said that if the country survives till 2023, Thanksgiving service must be held in every surviving home. My brothers and my sisters, you can see that there is nothing called Nigeria anymore. By 2023, all those running around, all the Efulefus, all the Biafran saboteurs, running for political position, running for the fluke 2023 presidency that they think that the Fulani will give to them, whereas the Fulani is deceiving them. There will be no Nigeria come 2023. The Fulanese would have run back to Futajalon. They will run. They will run back. They will run back to Futajalon because Biafrans and the Middle Belt and the Yoruba nations are now well prepared to chase them back to where they are coming from. You know. Like the Benue people, they said, naturally, the thieves are in central Nigeria and while grazing routes can be established up north, they will not pass through Benue. And they are sure that the people of Benue and those from the southeast, that is the Biafrans and the Yoruba nations, will support the Middle Belt to resist the evil genes that is knocking on our doors. The Middle Belt Warriors, they warn Buhari that they know that Buhari does not listen to superior advice, but he must know that the quest to divide our land to offer safe passage to his marauding terrorist Fulani kinsmen may be the final straw for his presidency. They warned him, they warned the terrorists and the Fulani Nigerian government that 
Puhare and his gang of Fulani terrorists will have to kill every thief, every middle belt person to make it happen. And that will not happen because the world has moved from his frozen mindset, a thought process that believe in parochial feudalism, religious fanaticism, and fundamentalism, and cows and other livestock stroke easily when blood desecrates the land. They warned him that Benue and the Middle Belt land won't be such land. My brothers and my sisters, you can see that the Fulani Janjaweed are in trouble. They are in big trouble. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. And bye-bye for now.